Hi folks, this is Jay and I uh, hope you're okay today and I just want to share a thought with you a lot of Christians feel that God has abandoned them that God doesn't care about them and some Christians can go through real pain and real hurt because they just feel that God doesn't care and they can struggle for many many years and feel that God's not been there that God does not care well let's just look at a scripture in Romans 8, Romans chapter 8, verse 32, okay? Romans chapter 8, verse 32, it says, He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Okay? Romans 8, 32, He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Okay, the Lord, Je the Lord Almighty God gave up His Son, the most precious thing in the universe, for you. Okay, He couldn't have done as much as He did in giving Christ for you, and He gave everything for you. All right, He showed deep, rich love for you. Christ nailed at the cross, and the blood flowing down, His crown of thorns, and he was being crucified for you, okay? So when you're in the difficulty and you're struggling, whatever it is, and you're saying, God, you're, I'm in pain, God, I'm in pain! I'm in pain, I can't cope! And you're, and you're like that. Maybe it goes on for years, maybe for years and years and years you're in pain. I don't know what it is. It might be loneliness. It, it might, well, whatever it is. But you've been asking God, God, please, please help me. Please. And he don't seem to be helping. He don't seem to be there. And you're in agony all the time. And you're wondering whether God cares for you. You've got to come to this verse. Romans 8, 32. He that spurred not his own son, but delivered him up for us all. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? And you've got to say, Lord, you loved me at Calvary. You gave everything for me. And you've got to do this every day, every hour, every minute to counteract the negative thought that keeps coming in your head. And you've got to say, Lord, you died for me. You gave your life for me. My circumstances are saying that you don't care, but your scripture, your word is telling me that you do care. And Lord, I hold on to this. And what we do, we hold on to our thoughts, our negative thoughts that Satan puts in. We hold on to them negative thoughts. And we've got to cut them thoughts out, push them away and say, no, I'm going for the positive thought of the Bible and God's word. God tells me in his word that he loves me. He gave everything for me. And this way might be hard, but still he loves me. He said it. Romans 8.32 He that spurred not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? God's a loving God and he's a caring God and he's going to guide you and lead you in the way of his goodness. It's going to be a good time for you. It might not be an easy time. It might be a tough time. But it's going to be a good time because the good God is in your life and he's with you. Okay? When the people of Israel went through the desert, God was with them. It was not easy in the desert. It was not an easy experience in the desert. It was not easy living by faith when the manna came down every day. But they had Almighty God with them. And once you've got God with you, you've got everything. And God is with you today. God is never going to abandon you. When men abandon you, God will not abandon you. God will always have his arms around you, wrapped around you with his loving power and joy and goodness and kindness. And he'll always be there, even when you feel that he's not there. Even when you feel bereft of all comfort, he is the God of all comfort and he is there with you right now. He said, Jay, I don't see it. I'm in pain. I'm suffering. I can't see it. I don't, I don't see the love of God around me. The love love of God is with you right now. He's with you right now even though you don't see it. And you've got to stand on the promise of God, not on your feelings, not on your circumstances, but on the word of God. It says, Romans 8.32, the word of God created this world. By the power of his word, he created this world. And that's the word you've got to stand on today. Romans 8.32 He that spurred not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? God loves you today. He gave his only begotten son. 
to die on the cross for you, to shed his blood for you. He gave everything for you. And he loves you right now. And that's the thing that you've got to hold on to. That's the thing you've got to hold on to with all your heart, with all your mind, and with all your strength. You've got to hold on to that truth that God gave his only son for you. And hold on to it with all your might. And do not let Satan wrest your hand away from that truth. For it is your rock and your sta stability in the midst of the storm. It is your joy, it is your crown, it is your hope, it is your future, it is your destiny to go to heaven, to be with God forever. And don't let Satan take it away from you. Cling on to it as if you were on a boat and falling into the sea and you held on to a rope. Hold on to this biblical truth. Romans 8.32 He that spurred not his own son, but delivered him up for us all. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? There are two great lessons that I've learned in my life. I have seen attacks upon attacks on YouTube and everywhere against the word of God. And one truth that has stood tall for me and grows stronger every day is that the Bible is the word of God. Every day I read my Bible and I hear the attack against the Bible. I grow stronger in the belief that the Bible is the word of God. For I see the Bible smash all the arguments that come against it. I see the Bible stand like a rock against all those that would attack the word of God. And now I see more than ever in all my life the Bible is the golden book of God. And it is breathed out from, by him. And the second truth that I have learned in my life through all my pains and all my suffering and all the hurts that I have gone through. One other great lesson that I have learned, and I have not learned it very easily, but I am learning it, and that is this. God is good. He said, Jay, I've got tears down my eyes, brother. I've got tears down my eyes. I don't see that God is good. Let me tell you something. Even in the darkest shadows of the night, God will bring you through. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. God will take you through the valley of the shadow of death in this life and the next. Okay? I know that God, I know that God is good, and I will testify that God is good. Though I be suffering, though I be in pain, though I be broken and hurt, my God is a good God. And my God is with me. And my God is with you today. God bless you. Take care. Keep going. And keep trusting. And stand on this text. Romans 8.32 He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? All things are yours, folks. All things are yours. Trust him. Trust him. Keep your eyes fixed on him. Christ. Not on men. For they'll let you down. Not on circumstances. For they'll pull you down. Look to him. Christ. Trust in him. And the joy of the Lord will be your strength. God bless you.